Okay, potato chips take two. Uh, my previous video didn't record, uh, so having another go. Um, so here I am to talk about potato chips today, um, because everyone loves potato chips. Um, I am driving over the Lindus Pass, which is a quite high altitude road in New Zealand. Um, we have some mountain passes which get snowy in the winter, um, sometimes in the spring, in the autumn, maybe even in the summer. You never know. Get a southerly, it could snow here. Um, altitude's quite high, and we're about 45 degrees south, or 40 degrees south, 40 something degrees south, anyway. Um, anyhow, anyhow. Um, yeah, potato chips. So um, you can demonstrate atmospheric pressure. This is especially fun for children. If when you go on a road trip, uh, buy a couple of potato chips, buy a couple of packets of potato chips, maybe maybe a few packets of potato chips, uh, because you want to eat some on the way. Um, and then uh, what you can do is demonstrate atmospheric pressure, because if you buy them at sea level, the packets have a lot of empty space in them, but when you go to low, um, high altitude, the packets inflate. So um, I'll just uh, turn my camera around and, and show you my potato chips. Okay, here we are. You can see I'm up in the kind of almost alpine area. We've got some tussock grass up there. We're above where the trees grow. Um, not much up here. Maybe a few uh, high altitude sheep might come up here, but I do believe this is a scientific reserve, so there shouldn't really be any animals here now. Um, New Zealand's getting the animals out of um, interesting bits of uh, landscape. Um, anyway, so there's my packet of potato chips. It's all inflated just like a pillow um, because of the low pressure up here. And you can see on my GPS I'm at 956 meters and there's still a little bit more on the mountain to go. Um, but you know, these potato chips might get eaten before I get that far. Yeah, it's just a fun thing. Uh, here we go. Nice. Oops. Inflated in there. Anyway, I'm doing a bit of a road trip in my electric car, so um, you know I'm going over the high altitude and long distance simultaneously. So this is uh, fraught with uh, navigational problems. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll flip this camera around. Back around. Here's a modern weather station. Uh, this one's in the top of central Otago, um, where Merino uh, sheep live, uh, where those really nice uh, woolen jerseys come from. Uh, yeah, you got the um, anemometer and wind direction device at the top. I used to know all the model numbers of these, I can't remember. Um, and then uh, on the there's a round screen at the side which um, has a combined humidity and temperature sensor, solar panel in the middle, and then uh, around where the, where the um, barbed wire is, there's a, a metal can there, which is a tip rain gauge. So that's got a little seesaw device in it. When it fills up with rain, it goes clunk, and a little magnetic thing measures the, uh, the tip. And then down the bottom in the cabinet, there's a cell phone. And it sends information back every minute, and this is how you get um, uh, modern weather. And also, this one has in the ground in the road is a oh, that's amazing. Part. Um, in the ground, there's a uh, temperature sensor or a couple of temperature sensors. I can't remember on this one. Some of them have two, uh, one near the surface and one a bit further down. And these are used to predict whether the road is going to get ice on it, and that way it can, they can work out whether to close the road, which um, means that you don't need to close the road if there's no, um, no weather problems, and you do close the road if um, it's going to be icy and dangerous. So that's how we deal with uh, traffic safety in New Zealand. There's, there's heaps of these weather stations. Um, I can't remember how many. 20 or 30 or more of them just for a road um, in the in the South Island. So it's a modern weather station. Charging, got your temperature and humidity uh, there on the side, and then uh, a tip bucket rain gauge, and then uh, the electronics cabinet down the bottom. And the electronics uh, cabinet has um, uh, cell phone in it to relay the data back.